guys so today i am going to be showing you all of my pets as you can tell by the title i did do one of these already this year but i do have a few new pets that i've got since then i think three of my geckos i didn't have in that video so today i thought would be the perfect time to finally update you this video was actually really highly requested so hopefully you guys don't mind seeing another one even though i did one earlier this year but since a lot of you are new i know some of you might not have seen everyone so today i just wanted to update and formally introduce you to all the pets I do currently own 15 pets. I have a couple dogs, some small pets, and mostly reptiles. So today I'm going to be showing all of them off. Before I jump into that, I do want to thank today's sponsor. Today's video is actually sponsored by Case Charming. I'm sure most of you are just as obsessed with your pets as I am with mine, and that is why I was really excited that Case Charming wanted to work together on this video, because they make amazing custom phone cases with your pets on them. They actually sent me two of them right here. You can see Piper. She's on the back of my iPhone 10. So these cases come for pretty much all phones. I know they make them for all iPhones and most like popular galaxies and everything. And they are just a clear case. That way you can still see your phone and the focus is just on your pet. And on their website, they give you options for cats and dogs. But as you can tell, they actually do all animals. And this is how the one of Piper turned out. I know there's probably a glare, but I am literally obsessed with it. They did send me two different cases. And the hardest part about all of it was deciding which one I wanted to put on my phone first. I did go with Piper my Leopard Gecko, but they did send me another. So the other case they sent me is actually of Steve. And this is probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. So here is my other phone case with Steve on it. The detail on this is absolutely amazing and they're just so personal and awesome. So if you want to get a phone case for you or just they would make an awesome gift, I might be getting one of these for my mom because I know she'll be obsessed with it. If you're interested, I will leave a link to them down in the description of this video. So make sure to go over and check out Case Charming and get a custom case of your adorable pet. So now that we saw how cute my pets are on phone cases, let's see how cute they are in real life. So for my first pet, I'm just going to start with Steve because as most of you know, he is always the closest to me. Steve is my five-year-old dog. He never shows up very well on camera because he's completely black and he's very hairy right now. Also, he always just acts really weird on camera. I don't think he likes to be seen for some reason. But I adopted Steve when he was about six months old. He is a poodle mix. I actually have a video that talks all about their breeds. Um, but he is a poodle mix. He is definitely my Velcro dog. He's always by me, always touching me. We're pretty much best friends. Um, so this is Steve. And then after Steve, of course, I have my other dog that you guys don't see quite as much because she's not near as Velcro as Steve. This is Ellie. Ellie is an eight-year-old Shih Tzu. I adopted her also when she was about a year old. When I got her DNA tested, it actually came back that she is a purebred Shih Tzu, which is pretty cool. Um, she definitely needs a haircut right now. She kind of looks homeless. You guys just don't see Ellie as much because she does like her own space. She likes to cuddle on her terms, but usually you can find her sleeping under some type of furniture. She loves to sleep under the couch. That's just her favorite place to be, um, but that is Ellie. Next, we'll move on to the gerbils. I have my two gerbils, as you can see here, chicken and waffles. I am gonna leave them in their enclosure because they actually aren't tame. They prefer each other much more than they prefer me. So right here, the black and white one is chicken, and then the grayish one is waffles. They are a bonded female pair. I've had them for a little over a year now. You guys might know that they did fight for a while, but luckily I was able to introduce them because I got them split up before it got too bad. Since I was able to rebond them, um, I haven't had any issues yet and they've been doing wonderful together. They are definitely the most active and fun of my pets to watch. They have a lot of fun together and are just always doing something crazy. So those are my gerbils, chicken and waffles. Next, I have my hamsters. I have two male Syrian hamsters. Of course, they are housed separately. Up here, you can see my long-haired hamster. This is Mr. Fluffybutt. He's named that for obvious reasons since he's long-haired. And we'll see if he wants to come out and say hello. He did just wake up, so I don't know if I'm going to get him out or not. So this is Mr. Fluffybutt. Um, I don't know how long I've had him. I'll put it on the screen. But I've had him for quite a while now. He is just so adorable. He absolutely loves his new cage. He's so much more active um, since he got his new cage. He's going to come up and see, I don't have a treat for you today. Pretty much he only loves me for my treats, um, but I don't have one for him today. But that is Mr. Fluffybutt. Next, I have my other male Syrian hamster. His name is Friar Tuck. I've only had him for a couple months. He is still very young and we're working on taming. 
I believe he's sleeping under this tube. Um, that is his favorite place to sleep. I'm not sure if you can see. I don't think my camera is going to focus, but he does have a big hide down there. Looks like he is going to come out and say hello for us. I wasn't planning on getting a hamster, but I did see him online from a local pet shop. And he has kind of the markings of a dwarf, even though he's a Syrian. I had never seen a hamster marked like him. Since he's not going to come out too much, I will put a picture of him up on the screen. A lot of people said he looked like a badger and wanted me to name him Badger. And that is why his name is Friar Tuck. If you guys have seen the Disney version of Robin Hood from like the 70s, that's one of my favorite movies ever. And the badger in that movie is named Friar Tuck. Um, so it is an odd name, but that is why. So that is Friar Tuck, my second Syrian hamster. Now that the dogs and the small pets are out of the way, we'll move on to the reptiles. The first reptile I'm going to show you is one that a lot of people always forget that I have because I don't show her very often. This is the only snake I have. This is Pippa. She's a baby Kenyan sand boa. I don't show her often because 95% of her life is spent buried in the substrate. As you can see, she just has her little head poking out right now. Unfortunately, I can't get her out because she did just eat last night. It's been about 24 hours since she last ate, but I do like to be a little bit on the safe side and I do not handle her for 48 hours after a meal. So I can't get her out, but you guys can see her right here. Like I said, she is the only snake that I own. She's my first snake ever. So far, she's been an awesome beginner snake. She eats very well. She's never missed a meal. She has amazing sheds and she's not a huge fan of being handled, but she doesn't like really mind it either. So we're working on that. Um, but that is Pippa, my Kenyan sand boa. Next we have one of my crested geckos. This is Jorge. He's actually extremely skittish so I'm going to try to get him out but I thought I would go ahead and show him just hanging out on the glass in case he completely freaks out when I try to get him. Jorge was also recently adopted from Craigslist along with Pablo. Just like Pablo he was very very skittish and scared when I got him. Unfortunately he hasn't got any better. He's just completely terrified of me. Um, anytime I get close to the cage, he usually runs, but we will open this up and I'm sure he'll just scatter away. I don't want him to run out though, so we will see. I'm just going to leave him on the glass so he doesn't freak out. Um, but there you can see him a little bit. So he is a Dalmatian crested gecko. I'm not sure exactly how old he is, but this is Jorge. Next we have Fiona, my Pac-Man frog, and I'm definitely going to have to get some photos to put in of her because as you can barely see, she is dug down right there and buried. You can just barely see her eyeballs in the top of her body. Like I said, Fiona is a Pac-Man frog, so I'm not going to unbury her because it would just stress her out. And I never hold her just because it's not good for frogs to hold them. And she's very, very food aggressive and would love to bite my finger off if I try to hold her. Um, so I will include a picture of her, but that is literally all she does. Um, she is buried a little bit more than normal right now, but that is Fiona the Pac-Man frog. Next, we'll move on to one of my leopard geckos. This is my newest leopard gecko that I've only shown in about one video so far. This is Felipe. He is a juvenile or a sub-adult. I think he's probably around six months old. We're still working on taming. He is definitely the most skittish leopard gecko I've ever got. He's doing very, very well and he'll usually climb up on my hand, um, but he's not really comfortable with being picked all the way up yet. So I'm not going to pick him up, but we'll see if he'll crawl up on my hand at all. Probably just going to lick me and see who the heck I am. But I just recently got him about a month and a half ago at a local reptile expo from a breeder. I just could not resist him. As you can see, he's doing very well, just a little bit slower than my others. Um, but that is Felipe. You guys will definitely be seeing more of him in the future once he gets completely warmed up. Next, we have another of my leopard geckos. This is my largest male. His name is Pablo. I got him off of Craigslist a few months ago. You guys might remember that he was extremely shy when I first got him and he wouldn't let me pick him up and he actually tried to bite. As you can see, he's doing so good now. Um, he absolutely loves to come out of his tank. He has to come out and then he'll just sit on me and chill. He is a very big boy. I weighed him and he is 95 grams. So he's definitely a big guy. But that is Pablo the Leopard Gecko. Next, we have my blue tongue skink, Lola. I just found her. She is buried all the time. She is definitely the grumpiest of my animals. I do have to admit that I have slacked off with her taming, so it is 100% my fault. 
I did work on taming with her for a very long time and we weren't getting very far and I did kind of give up. Um, I'm not proud of it, but I do need to try to start working with her again. She's just always been a very grumpy girl. I got her at a local pet shop. She was actually bred and born in the pet shop and she was the very last of her litter. So I'm guessing she was the very last one left because she was always hiding and she's a little bit more grumpy. Um, she's never shown any aggression, but she does just like to huff and run away as you can see. So hopefully I'll have some updates on her in the future and I'll be able to tell you that we've been working some more and that she's better. Um, but for now, as you can see, she's done with me, but that is Lola the Blue Tongue Skink. Next, we'll move on to my gargoyle gecko pickle. You can actually see him sleeping right there. He's extremely fired down right now, so he's very, very light. His name is Pickle. It's not because of my name of my channel. That's not where I got the name of my channel. I just thought he looked like a cute little pickle when I got him. I will go ahead and see if I can get him to come out. Like I said, he is asleep, so he might not want to come out. Usually he does like to run. Um, so let's see if he's going to be feisty or if he's going to let me get him out. Come here, honey. So into the plant he went. I will put a picture of him up. Like I said, I'm not gonna stress out my animals just for the sake of a video, um, but that is my gargoyle gecko pickle. So here we have one of my crested geckos. This is Harper. She's one of the first reptiles I got. She's in a very, very jumpy mood right now, so I don't know how long she'll stay. Um, she was asleep, so she is also fired down like Pickle was, um, but she's very jumpy. That was an awful jump. She is very nice. She's still just pretty jumpy, but she's usually a lot more red than this. When she fires up, she gets really, really dark and gets a beautiful red color, but this is just what she looks like when she's fired down. So that is Harper. And last, but certainly not least, we have one of my favorites, not afraid to admit it. This is my leopard gecko, Piper. I'm sure most of you by now know Piper. She went through some very, very serious medical issues lately. She ended up having two surgeries. I'm gonna have a full video coming up on her very, very soon with all the updates, but she is doing absolutely amazing. You can see she doesn't have the end of her tail. That was because of a follow-up surgery after her very first one. She's not looking wonderful right now because she is getting ready to shed because she's been shedding constantly because her body is still trying to heal itself. But she is definitely the biggest baby of a leopard gecko I've ever had, and she is what started my whole love of reptiles. So that is Piper, my leopard gecko. So that was all 15 of my pets. I know we didn't get the best look at some of them, but I did the best I could. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video anyway. Like I said at the beginning, make sure you go over to Case Charming and check out their awesome phone cases if you're interested in getting your own pet on a custom case. I'm completely obsessed with mine, like I said at the beginning. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.